let's start with uh, Vicente Montiel Molina to give us an overview of the different services the platform and the project provides. Oh, yours. Thank you very much, Alfonso. Do you listen to me? Yes. So, good evening, everybody. My name is Vicente Montiel. Um, and I am going to uh, talk to you for a little while about the environment of the ECO project. Um, I'm not designer of any MOOC and uh, I'm leading the commercialization, the international commercialization of the project. This project is supposed to, to continue after the three years of the development and uh, this is my objective. But I'm also leading the social media team that is uh, supporting the, uh, all the dissemination. Um, okay, I'm going to show you the guidelines of uh, what a user can find when uh, you are searching for eco project uh, on internet. Of course, uh, we have a, a, a strong presence with our websites and we have social media uh, networks uh, that we are uh, strongly uh, working with and uh, supporting every uh, community. And of course, we have the portal with the MOOCs, and all of them are connected. This project uh, started on February this year, so uh, less than a year, it's uh, online. And we have been working uh, in, different, uh, in different stages uh, to get uh, where we are now at the moment. First of all, uh, on latest February, we created the main website that is ecolearning.eu. You can find there. And uh, this is not a commercial website. Uh, this is where you can find uh, who we are, what are we doing, uh, where are we placed. All the, says the six languages are supported. There are six blogs in different uh, languages. And our partners from each country can upload uh, contents that then are disseminated. And so as this is not a commercial website, this website is for the project, we decided to create a landing page. This is the landing page, it's landing.ecolearning.eu. And uh, there you can find all the commercial information that you need when you look for us. So if you want to decide if we are interested or not, so uh, you get to the landing page. This landing page is where we are pointing uh, all of our users that are interested in the social media. And I have to say that this, is, uh, this strategy is working very, very, very good at this moment. Um, at this moment, we were supposed to have uh, around 1,500 students enrolled in our MOOCs. And uh, I can tell you that this morning, we reached the student number 2,000. So we are over our objectives and the landing page and the website are working very good, very good with the community. So having this, uh, we decided to start all our efforts in social media two months before uh, launching the project and th three of November. So our, we are in many places, but our strong presence, our main presence is in the Facebook page, the Twitter account, and the YouTube channel. I can tell you that uh, many Fridays we are uh, streaming one um, round table with people like uh, Alfonso, Kelly, and any others uh, in Spanish and in other languages. And we are doing it in a streaming, open streaming by YouTube. And we have a lot of uh, students that after this uh, streaming enrolls in our courses, it's uh, working very good. And we have the Facebook page, and we have uh, more than 2,000 followers in just three weeks and three months in our Twitter account. There is a team supporting all this uh, media work. Um, we have nine persons supporting all the markets. Uh, we are talking in all the languages, and there are people, uh, Alessandra uh, is here with us, and Adeline, supporting the French market and supporting the Italian market and doing a great job. So uh, one of the MOOCs with uh, best and roles is uh, one from Politecnico of Milano and uh, something has to, 
to be considered by the work they are doing in the social media. So congratulations. And uh, um, you can find us there. And then, of course, we need uh, to get the people into our MOOCs. As you have been uh, previously uh, looking with a previous presentation, uh, we have not only one platform, we have four platforms. So, four platforms, uh, 16 MOOCs, uh, we are expecting to have 4,000 MOOCs, so uh, we need some place where the people can get into the MOOCs with independence of the platforms they are logging. And this is the portal that we have, this is called portal.ecolearning.eu. At this moment, if you go to this portal, the website looks like uh, you are looking at the screen. What it's making us get in succeed in all our efforts is that if you look uh, above the portal, th all, uh, the social media networks, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and the website uh, has the same user experience. They find the same logos, they find the same banners, they find the information where it's supposed to have the information, but as you can see, the portal is totally different. This is, the, this is why uh, we decided to make it a strong and not to have many, uh, not to look to the design and to provide some uh, strong services in order to uh, compilate all the, all the platforms. But I can tell you one notice that not all the partners know, mm, for them there will be some surprise today, that on Monday, we will have a new portal. Yes, so uh, the second, we have divided our presence in uh, two stages right at this moment. The first one was to launch the project and make it a strong, and I can tell you that we have no incidents at this moment. And now is the time to get out the landing page and uh, launch our new portal. The new portal that will look like uh, you are looking at the screen, have uh, the functionalities, new functionalities, not only the design, but the functionalities. Uh, as you can see, it's very visual. It's following some, uh, I must confess, that it's following the style of Coursera and edX, and more or less, because we know that the user experience with this kind of design is very good, so if something is ruling uh, properly, we don't have to change. So uh, we decided to create this portal that now you find. The portal is designed and translated into the six languages. This is something that uh, our portal now at this moment only works in English. Independently of where you can, you can the country you come for, um, our portal is running only in English. From Monday, the portal will be ru running in all the languages. You will find a filter. We are not now not thinking about our 60 MOOCs that we are going to show you at the, uh, in a few minutes. But we are also thinking about the 4,000 MOOCs that we expect to have in only two years. This is mm, not, not many time and a lot of effort to do. So we decided now to create filters to look for uh, MOOCs in languages, MOOCs about thematics, and MOOCs about everything. So some filters will be online on Monday. Also, each MOOC will, be, uh, will have an individual banner to identify exactly what the MOOC uh, is about. We also have a login and register uh, service provided in this uh, platform, in this portal, that is translated into the six languages. And when someone uh, clicks in a box of the new portal uh, to get information from the MOOC, uh, one pop-up is going to be uh, shown with all the information and also the uh, direct link to the course that you are interested. So we think that uh, the user experience with these uh, changes will be mm, much, much stronger than we are at the moment. And if we are getting success with the uh, actual portal, we are expecting to, to get uh, a very good experience with the users with this new portal. And so finally, as a review, here you have the website that we have. 
the social media networks, and the new portal of the MOOC. And this is Eco Project. Nothing more. Thank you very much. Okay, that's it. There's, have we got the microphone? Thank you. Uh, hello. Well, I, I have a few questions, but uh, I will just try sorry, to make... Sorry to interrupt you. Could you all present yourself oh, so sorry. we get to know each okay. other? Thank you. My name is uh, Mercedes Alonso from uh, UNED. Mm -hmm. um, I'm teaching nuclear engineering, so nothing to do with uh, education in a way. Um, I'm worried about uh, within the project, do you, do you think about accreditation in a harmonized way? Uh, when, when you're thinking about MOOCs and how do you, uh, well, how do you do the accreditation for each MOOC in each country? Do you have this uh, looked after in, in the project? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, you want to answer? Vicente? The accreditation, the like the titles and the diplomas, the diplomas and all that, what are you Hola. La verdad, eh, I think that we have a group uh, working on, uh, on it and uh, they are defining exactly uh, the rules for each country and uh, what they will get, the certificates and something like this. I don't know if you are asking this. Well, uh, some, some of you have talked about accreditation, but some other haven't. And uh, about in getting some ECTS, some, some credits for the MOOC. Um, yeah. I, I suppose this is, this is one of the interests of uh, mm -hmm. the Europeans to, mm -hmm. to validate the, the experience. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I know um, there are six groups working on this, um, six groups working, and uh, I guess uh, group number four, that it's a uh, house that is leading Divina, that is with us, and um, is defining the Saturday certification and all the things that the students can get from our MOOCs. Obviously, uh, there are many competitors in the market, and if we want our MOOCs to, to get the students, we have to give certificates. Okay, so um, I think that the group is working on it, and uh, as soon as possible, we will have news about it. Okay?